first of all, how long have you known that you were going to be the valedictorian? About a month. Oh. <laughs> so was it a close, close? It was very close. Close race? Okay. And um, so when you found out about a month ago, what did you think? Uh, I was ecstatic. I was like, I was not expecting it at all. <laughs> and I just wanted to cry. <laughs> My parents were both crying. So. How did you find out? They call you? Get a letter? How did uh, Miss Finley called me to the office, into the principal's office, uh, and they told me there. Mr. Evans told me. Now, tell me about um, growing up. Is this uh, was this always a goal of yours to become valedictorian? Um, you know, I just wanted to be the best I could be. It wasn't really a set goal, but you know, <laughs> um, I just kind of wanted to be at the top. But um, it wasn't like I need to be a valedictorian. It was just. It's just a blessing to, from God to be. <laughs> and is this something you had to work hard at, or did it come easy for you? I had to work very hard. <laughs> just like many nights of staying up late and not sleeping at all, <laughs> just to study. Yeah. Now, uh, you, you mentioned God, and I know your dad You know, is, is the music director at First Baptist. How big of a role is God and church and all that in your life? A huge role now. Um, say I'm there at least twice a week, <laughs> but, um, you know, just helping out, having fun. Now, if you had to pick your, you know, if you could schedule your life and plan your life 15 years from now, what would your life be like? Where, where would you be and what would it be like? <laughs> um, probably still in South Carolina, maybe North Carolina, um, hopefully married and children <laughs> and, you know, um, That's about it. I know. Simple life, I guess. Any teachers that uh, inspired you and over the years that helped make you, uh, you know, who you are today? Certainly, uh, Dr. Gates and uh, Miss Todd, Miss Tanya Todd, and Dr. Edward Thomas, and Miss Clark. <laughs> well, got a handful. Miss Gordon as well. So, what are you going to miss most about Georgetown High once, once you walk after you walk across that aisle? Or stage? Probably just the friendships and, you know, um, just like the familyness of Georgetown High, I guess. <laughs> did you look at other colleges? I mean, why, why did you choose Winthrop? I did look at other colleges, but um, when I toured Winthrop, it just felt like home. So <laughs> it was kind of easy to pick that as number one. Well, what is your advice? I mean, if there's any uh, you know kids that are watching this, and they say you know, man, I'd love to be a valedictorian one day. What's what's your advice to them? Just work hard and stay on the right path, and don't do anything that would get you in trouble or knock you off the right path. And, um, so tell me about um, how long you've wanted this. Is this something you've always strived for, or um, it's it's been a goal of mine to be somewhere at the top. I guess since I've entered high school and they started to release these rankings and and uh, stuff like that and um, I always just thought it would be be cool to, to be up there somewhere and I'm just really glad that I am. Um, any teachers that stand out over the years that um, you know that have made you where you are today? Um, Dr. Gates and Miss Gordon are two um, teachers that I've really learned a lot from and also my biology teacher from the past two years Miss Palmer uh, she's been a you know good influence on me and, and uh, leading me kind of in that path. That's where I'm. That's what I'm going to major in in college is biology. And she went to Clemson where I'm going, and um, it kind of all the, their efforts kind of fed into what I wanted to do. Why did you choose Clemson? Um, my family my family has been a Clemson family all my life, and my mom went there, and my uncles went there, and I've really grown up just. Wanted to go nowhere but there, and I'm just really glad I get the opportunity to now. So tell me about um, what you're going to miss most about Georgetown High School once you're finished. Um, I'm going to really miss, of course, a lot of the friendships that I've made and uh, the family aspect of the school. I'm going to miss playing sports. Uh, you know, I had a lot of great memories playing football and baseball in the past four years, and um, that's probably going to be a big aspect of what I'm going to miss. 
And um, well, same question I asked him about you know any any kids that might watch this and say, hey, man, I'd like to do that one day, be one of them. Um, what's your advice? Um, I would just always advise to be optimistic about what you're capable of and always stay on the right track. And of course, don't do anything to jeopardize. Um, don't do anything to jeopardize what good you have going for you. Mm -hmm.